everyone Hello. doing? <laughs> How's everyone doing, adventurers? It's been a long time. How's everyone doing ah. this week? Welcome to episode ah. five. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to episode five of the Adventurers Radio uh, DJ Ellis Nerd Show. Here we are. So, In my mouth. Sorry. Before we get started, no. weekly soda of the week brought to you by Big Red. Let me try and this, this isn't the big Big Red like the cinnamon. I don't know what candy. This is. This is. Yeah, it doesn't really tell you. Hey, it tastes like red. Okay, well, what does that taste like? It's, all it tells us flavor-wise is so sweet, so smooth. It's so sweet, and it was established uh, almost 100 years ago. It's smooth. And I'm just now hearing about this. 1937. Uh, Are you... It's like that... I wonder if it's like cheer wine, which I also hate. Uh, Stephen loves it. Yeah, well... Our editor-in-chief loves it. I think... I open it in front of the mic. You know better. I am going to, but I think I don't like cheer wine because he gave me a warm one one time, and I just... I hate warm soda. Dude. I dude. hate warm drink. I hate warm drink. I hate warm drink, okay? I'm just, warm. I don't, dude, I don't, I don't feel comfortable opening this. Because it's not, I'll do it. it's not made by a company. You've never done it, have you? Never opened it. I think I did it one week that we didn't, uh, we didn't. Nah. Oh, my there God. Go. And, uh, all righty. Oh, oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, I God. Smell oh, God. I can smell. smell it. Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. It smells like medicine. When does it I'm expire? not excited about this. I'll it's be not honest. expired. Hey man, you you first. I don't want to do it. Oh my god. So today, oh god. Uh, we're as of recording this. It is Thursday, March eighth, meaning the Infinity War Entertainment Weekly came out. I feel like every single week we talk about something Infinity War. Huh? You know. I mean, they just keep releasing stuff, and the we week, gotta talk about it. The week after April twenty seventh, I'm pretty sure we'll be quiet for a little bit about it. Yeah. Because we'll talk about it. Probably that week, and then no, we have to do like, a hey, review. Go. Yeah, and that'll be that week. But uh, this week it was. Uh-uh. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, no. oh my god! Oh my god. That's the worst, oh my god! That's the worst thing I've ever put in my mouth. <laughs> oh my god! I can't. I cannot swallow what that. What does it taste like? Oh my god! What's it taste oh like? Oh my god! Oh my god! Yes, put it back in the bottle. Oh, oh my god! Oh! Yeah, this, this episode's sponsored by Big Red. Uh, yeah, it's Big Red. Uh, oh my god. God. Don't buy it. Don't buy it. It's awful. Holy crap. God. That's, I mean, Who oh. would do that to themselves? <sighs> god, I feel like we gotta. Uh, hold on a second. What do you got in your fridge? Uh, go get my Mountain Dew Pitch Black. While Joe's gone, hi guys. It's it's the D to the J, the Dylan to the Bro. How are y'all doing here? Protein shakes, guys, going on here. Um, Stuff tastes like crap! Oh, here Joe's back. All right, guys, we can stop talking about him. This is mine. Uh, that, that's mine. You should have got yourself a drink, because I, oh. I don't share this. Oh, okay. Okay, Joe's gone again, guys. All right, I'll say it. If no one's going to say it, prequels are better than the originals. New trilogy sucks. All right? Leave your comments below in the section. Labeled comments. If you don't know where it is by now, mm-hmm. I can't help you with the internet. <sighs> You'll see that Grinch trailer. It sucks. It doesn't. It's not bad. It's a, spe- it's a special episode. We get three sodas. <laughs> we got three sodas. We're gonna talk about three things, and then we're gonna leave. Uh, oh God. God, that was like that was bad. Genuinely, one of the worst things ever. Oh, holy! Out. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh, see, this is a wish. I, I wish this was on video because your face was great. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. So, oh. Infinity War pictures. Uh, we get some stills. Pull them up. I think I think we're getting a trailer here really, really soon. There's just way too much Infinity War stuff going on. Let's be descriptive. All right, so... Let's start with the bottom. To start up. with the bottom. Uh, this is a shot from... This is the Wakanda shot. Black Panther's crossing his arms. He's got his claws. You see some of the characters in the background. You see M'Baku. You see Winter Soldier, which apparently is being called White Wolf Don't like now. that. <laughs> and then you've got Cap. You've seen this shot. It's from the first teaser trailer. Uh, there's just a still of it in a magazine now. Next. Yeah. Uh, what's next? Next. Pretty sure this is a shot from a trailer as well. That it's... looks familiar. It's got Thor yeah. and Rocket Raccoon. And what looks like... Oh, there's Groot. I didn't yeah. see Groot Wait, before. Where's Groot? He's right there. Oh, he's, he's playing right. his little game. All right. Yeah. That's interesting. They yeah. look like they're in like a little... Uh, you know what that's pod, from? Or what was it from? It is from the Super Bowl spot. Super Bowl, go Eagles. Super Bowl spot, right there. Go Eagles. So it, this one, I'm not gonna spend too much time talking about. It. I mean, uh, just because it. it, it, it wait, hold on. Is Thor wearing an eye patch? Yeah, he's wearing the eye patch. Okay, because I'm seeing a lot of promotional material where he doesn't have the eye patch. 
I don't get why they do that. Maybe yeah. to not spoil Thor Ragnarok. Right, but right, but the trailers and Ragnarok like in the picture right there. And Ragnarok is already. Yeah, I guess it's the same thing with like, hey, all the tr- all the promotional material has Infinity Stones in the Infinity Gauntlet for Thanos, but in these pictures he's only got two. Yeah, well, the yeah. ones from the trailer. Yeah. The next one is just a still of Loki. Looking to the left. Looking to the left. Look and fly. He's, it's very blue. Very blue. So Meaning? It's, most likely it's him giving the Tesseract. To Thanos. Thanos. This next one I don't like, but you... Oh, the pose, he looks the pose cool. The pose is fine. The pose is fine. I he just have a cool. problem with the outfit. Oh, for those who... Because they're just like, what is he talking about? Nope. Um... Tom Holland is on the side of a bus. Yeah. He's got his. He's wearing his mask like it's a hat. Yeah, he's not. Ha- he doesn't have it on his face, but he's wearing just a normal outfit jacket. You can see the web shooters on his wrist. Yeah, but I like the. He's socks. about to leap into action. Yeah, but he's just like on a school bus. Does his shirt say lettuce? Yes. That is great. Taste of greatness. That's fantastic. Next one is Shuri. Shuri talking to Bruce. Bruce Banner and Elizabeth Olsen. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I said her name. Name Wanda. Wanda Mac. Wanda. What are they? And Cosmo. Wanda from Cosmo. Wanda, Wanda and-, and Cosmo from the uh, Fairly Odd Parents. Uh, that is an interaction I cannot wait to see. I want to see Wanda Sci- and Cosmo with Shuri. Shut up. Okay. I want. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see uh, Science Bros meet Science Gal. 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 Because I'm pretty sure she's gonna she's gonna give him the what for. Because she works with Wakanda Tech Wakanda. and Vibranium. They do not. So I would love to see that interaction. Ugh. So uh, that's that's what we're looking at. She's all looking at him like, "Hey, that's where his face is." You want to go to the next one? Yeah. Okay. Next, okay. Next one's. We're getting places. Are they in uh, uh, Wakanda? Are they in Wakanda? Maybe. I mean, I mean, I think he's in Wakanda. Captain is. Yeah. Captain. But like, are they in the Wakanda in this picture? I'm going to say yes. Okay. I don't know. So this is the one where it's Captain America, Black Widow, and War Machine. Um, they're, it looks like they're in Wakanda. Pretty much, it looks like... Because if you remember, they were kind of fighting against each other in the Civil War. This one, they're, uh, they're obviously... They're all looking in the same direction, which means they're friends again. <gasps> uh, well, War Machine has his legs yeah, in well, that little brace thing. So yeah. clearly, he did not get that... That doesn't magical look... technology that Martin Freeman got in uh, oh. uh, yeah. in Black, Black Panther. Panther. Yeah. So, uh, mm. yeah, they're looking at something. They're friends again, so that's his thing. I, I want to make a I side note. I like that note. he rolled up his sleeves. I don't know why. I, I just love really it. Think, Ooh, like, it's just simple little it. things like that. That and the fingerless gloves, dude. Yeah, so tight. Dude. He just looks He looks tight. I'm going to go buy his pop. I saw it at Target today. My God. Uh, Go Target. Okay. This, Next one. Speaking of your science bros, you got Doctor Strange and Wong. Wong. And uh, Tony Stark and Bruce Banner. Their poses, Doctor Strange and Wong, they're doing a very actiony slash magic poses. So I'm guessing they're gonna CGI spells. Yeah, probably some some spells. Some spells. Some, spell. some spells in there because he is like I can imagine he's got two fists. I can imagine the. The little uh, orange, orange circle, circle things around thing. him. And yeah. then he does that little string thing that he does. That, that's him. I don't remember. Right. And that. the other two were just kind of like, oh. We're we'll standing there because they don't have magic. Right. They could, though. If they wanted to. They could have magic. I, I like to believe that anything's possible. Anything's possible with uh, Big Red. God. That's not don't true. ever. Get that thing out of my that's face. Like, dude, I might throw that away while you're talking about this last one because I can't look at it. Okay. The last one's the good one. Last one. I am excited about this one. Oh, my God. Um. And if you were like me, you looked at the, what was it, Comic-Con trailer? This stuff sucks! <laughs> you looked at the Comic-Con trailer from, what was it, 2017, where they show the Infinity War trailer, and it was different from the one that we got, that they released to the masses. You got a couple more shots uh, that we didn't see. One of them, which was my personal favorite, the trailer ended on Thanos, a heck yeah. Is this zebra cake? It's a zebra cake roll. Heck yeah, boy. So, um... Open that right next to the mic. Oh my god. <laughs> so, um... Thanos is using the Infinity Gauntlet to 
pick up and throw what looks like a uh, moon. Yeah, we'll, we'll be frank about it. He's throwing a freaking moon. He's throwing a freaking moon. How do you fight something like that? You don't. How you do d- you fight something that throws a moon at you? Adam Warlock. I don't think he's in the movie. Yeah, I don't think he is either, and that upsets me to no know. end. Oh, he's throwing a freaking moon. That shot's awesome. How do I go to vacation? Oh, it's the Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. Ugh. I don't care. But, no, this is awesome. I am I am so excited yeah, to that's, see. Yeah, that's the money shot I like right to there. think that that, I mean, like, I wasn't surprised to see it because I, I, of course, cheated and watched the I didn't, uh, I, cell phone footage from. I couldn't watch, I didn't I didn't find that anywhere. I think they took yeah, it off. Yeah, because Marvel was like, no, 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 no. Yeah. 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 Although it was really cool because they added like a voiceover and they were like, he brings death wherever he goes or something like that. They talk about like Thanos is like unstoppable pretty much. Well, he is. And I, I really want, I do not want him to be depowered at all. I want them to try and hit him and he'll be like, dude, what are you doing? You know? I mean, take the Infinity Gauntlet off him is really the only way to beat him. Mm-hmm. I like, there was a, one, I saw a toy at Target earlier. Target. Uh, Where... It was Thanos versus Iron Man or something like that, and he's wearing this armor. The full armor? Yeah. Love it. It looks awesome. It looks great. Yeah. The full armor. He looks like... Can, like imagine bam. this shot that we're looking at now, and I'll post the link in the comment section below so y'all can see it to the entertainment weekly. But, that but imagine means, that shot in the full armor. Oh, I think it'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. I think it, that'd be awesome. Awesome. Oxen. Uh, what's plural of box? Boxen. Boxing, but uh, no, this uh, this is a really cool shot. I'm excited about him. I think anything with Thanos in it, I'm just like, give me. Yeah, I can't get myself to buy the Infinity Gauntlet that we sell at Target, but it's not that. It's not as amazing. I mean, it's as a I kid's thought. toy. It's twenty bucks. So I'll yeah. probably buy that hundred dollar one. Yeah, that you were with showing the, me. The fingers. I want my fingers to move. Is it a full gauntlet or is it like it the two? Gauntlet. Okay, okay. I was making sure it, it wasn't the two gauntlet. stones. Nope. Although every time you move your fingers, it goes. <laughs> Because that's like, awesome. I, I hope that changes. I what am. if I want to wave at somebody like that? And who, well, who waves goes, like that? <laughs> who waves like that? Well, I'm sorry. If I have the Infinity Gauntlet, no one's going to question me. That's true. Just like I ain't questioning this shot. Awesome. I might, I'm might. i going to pick this one up. I might pick this one up. This Entertainment Weekly. Oh, oh yeah. Well, I mean, there's different the colors. One, well, yeah. I'm getting the one with Thanos on it. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah, that's the one I would get, too. I'm, I'm sticking getting that one. And I never get those things. Who else was on the covers? I don't remember. Uh, it was up. pretty much everybody. It was everyone. Like, some of them got their own, like, Black Panther, Spider-Man, I think Iron Man. Like, some of the heavy hitters got their own. But a lot of them got uh, two. Like, I think yeah. there's one with Star, War- Star-, Star Wars. So, Star-Lord and Okoye. So, I'll go through them. There's Nebula and Scarlet Witch, Thor and Groot and Rocket. Doctor Strange is by himself. Hulk is by himself. God, Star, Star Lord, Lord and Koye. Yeah, you say your name better than I do. Vision and Shuri. I like mm-hmm. that one. I do like that one. Black, Black Panther. Panther. It's your boy Thanos. Thanos with only two stones. Tom Holland, Spider-Man. Um, Mantis and Winter Soldier. Uh-huh. Sorry, White Wolf. Dude, oh my God. Hold up. What? Look at the whole picture. It has a giant oh, A. That's cool. Okay, it's so just, now, now we got to get all of them. I just freaked out. Now we got to get all of them. And then there's Drax and is that... War Machine behind him? Yeah. Yeah. And I there's... love the War Machine. You see the, the red lights coming off of him? Yeah. Have you seen it? Iron Man. Iron Man. I do like the Iron Man I, suit. I almost called her Scarlett Johansson. I mean, that's who she is. Black Widow. Mm-hmm. Uh, Blonde Widow. Blonde Widow. Catch America. And then Falcon, Falcon and Gamora. And Gamora, okay. I like they're putting in the Guardian characters with other characters that, were, that we know of. Yeah, but why did they have to put Mantis with Winter Soldier... I guess the same reason they had to put Vision with, oh wait, I almost said Vision with Shuri, uh, War Machine with Drax, or, mm-hmm. I uh, No, I don't want to sign up for Entertainment Weekly. I just want to buy it. I just want to buy it. So, yeah, that's cool. Oh, that's, so good. that's why I think that, mm, I don't know what mm-hmm. I was about to say. These shorts feel like bathing suits. Feel that. <laughs> what? They're comfy, but like whenever I stick my hand in my pocket, it feels like a bathing Happy suit. Happy birthday, Nintendo Switch. <sighs> Good transition, man. I'm trying my best. Nintendo Switch is a year old now, starting March 3rd, which was five days ago. So, I don't play the Switch. You do. I do play the Switch. A lot of YouTube videos and... Duper cake wall. A lot of YouTube videos are made no, from the Switch. No, no that's not what I was going to say. Oh. 
but now I've got a mouthful of Zuba Kike Wolf. <laughs> <sighs> no, I think, I remember when you were like, I really need to get a Switch now. Skyrim. Skyrim. Skyrim was coming out, and it was like, hey, you can play Skyrim on, on the, the bus, go. on the go, anywhere you're going, at work. You play it at work. I just drooled on myself. On the can? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was playing Skyrim on the can anyway. You can play Skyrim on the can? On oh, the can? No, I mean, the Switch is cool. A lot of people, like, every whenever a system comes out, you know, the year marks, and they always have the question of, is it worth getting after a year? And I say the Switch is. Mm-hmm. Especially with this lineup now. Oh, my God. Well, and there's... I mean, this up, lineup a year ago. When, yeah, when it did, first released. Did uh, Legend of Zelda come out? Breath of with, the Wild? Yeah, did came that out, come out? came with out the, the release date, yeah. That's one. And that was enough to hold you over until Mario a, Odyssey came yeah. out. And I wasn't a big fan of Zelda. Nothing against it. I just, I was never into Zelda games. And then just kind of go into that one. I think my expectations were too similar to Skyrim. Because mm-hmm. everyone told me, it's like, it's an open world, medieval-like game. And so I go in and I'm like, it's not as um, RPG-like as Skyrim. I have a friend who apparently made a car in that game. And it runs on apples. And Zelda? Mm-hmm. I can see that. That's all I ever ate was apples. Apple. Apple. Um, but no, I, I think this. I honestly think the Switch is worth buying three hundred bucks just for the uh, Mario Odyssey game because it's that great. But speaking of new games, there's a new Nintendo Direct tonight at five o'clock, four o'clock our time maybe. Mm-hmm. Five Eastern or Central. So yeah, it'd be. What 4 do you think is gonna happen? A lot of people were speculating that they're gonna release new steals. No, no, no. Well, it's only going to be like 30 minutes long. Nice. Um, Which Nintendo, if you ever watch a Direct, they're quick. So a lot of people are going to probably, we're thinking we're going to get Mario Aces, which is the Mario Tennis images or trailer even. Uh, I want Mario Odyssey paid DLC. And there's rumors that the paid DLC is going to be Luigi's Mansion World and then Mario Sunshine World. Oh. So that'd be fun. Like 45 moons each. So, what I want, and I'm far-fetched here, but I don't think we'll get it. What I want, because Rockstar released L.A. Noir onto the Switch, mm-hmm. and Rockstar doesn't do stuff without it being a test, I'm thinking, we probably won't get GTA on there because it's so old, but Red Dead 2. Oh, I was going to say, are you going to say Red Dead Redemption? Because that's older. Red but Dead, Red Dead 2, yeah, yeah. Red Dead 2, because it comes out in fall. Mm-hmm. Nintendo's online. It better. It keeps getting pushed back. Nintendo's online launches in September. Oh, come on. So I'm thinking. Come on. That's my biggest speculation. I, I don't know. I am so ready for some Red Dead. Well, then I have the question of do I get it for Switch or do I get it for PlayStation 4? Bro, you're not going to get it both. Because you got. I'm getting it for PlayStation 4. You got to play with me. I'll probably Although, get it. hold up, hold up. Isn't crap. Crass. Isn't cross. Uh, Cross-platforming? Yeah, cross-platforming gonna, gonna be a thing here pretty soon? I hope so. Hopefully that won't be an issue. Hopefully you won't have to drop another 60 bucks. I wouldn't just mind. Just so you could... I wouldn't mind. <laughs> for a game like that? Yeah, if no. not for the sole purpose of playing... Um, uh, playing... Sorry. What the heck? <laughs> playing the story on my Switch and then just using my PlayStation 4 to play online. Mm-hmm. Because if it's anything like Grand Theft Auto V, the online won't release for another like month or two after the game comes out. Mm-hmm. GTA Online took forever to come out. So if I buy it on Switch, beat it a month or two after I you know, get it for PlayStation 4, I can play online. But that's what I'm hoping. We'll probably won't see it for this Direct. They'll probably want to release that like right before the game comes out. But uh, God, there's a game that's coming out for it. Um... Starts with the D. Donkey Kong. Not no. That's a good guess though, because it is Nintendo. Do Luigi's Mansion. Do Luigi's Mansion. No. No. I don't remember it. Oh my god. Okay, you keep talking. Uh, so with the cross. Excuse me. <coughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that is a mixture of Big Red and Mountain Dew, uh, and Zebra Oh, uh, the Pokemon game is what people want. What is it? Pokemon RPG game. Dude, I would I would get a Switch for that. 
they're saying that they're going to reboot the franchise. I don't know if that means we're going to go back to Gen 1 or play. I, uh, well, I hope they don't just keep on making random Pokemon. I, I, I'm one I of the, like, I, I mean, at a certain point. I get it. Like, I think it's cool. Yeah. Like, I do love playing those games, like, sure, but at the same time, I don't know, man. I think going back to the original would be, because, I mean, the original 150, can you beat him? No. Definitely. Uh, like, I'm not a huge fan of the newest, or uh, the Sun and Moons. I still haven't beaten Sun. I got, either. like, halfway through, and I was like, eh. Outlast just came out for the Switch. Uh, the trilogy. Whoa, right. So. Hyrule. Dark Souls is coming out. God, what is that game? Not Wolfenstein. Apparently that game's really good. Oh, Payday 2 came out for the Switch. Apparently it's not that great. Really? Well, I have never played Payday before. I listened to someone talk about it, and I watched some guy stream in Payday. It looks like the most frustrating game ever. You gotta, that's like GTA, but... With... It's like GTA, but you have to be exact. Eesh. Like when you, Like if you kill someone, you have to pick up their dead body and like put them in a body bag. And like carry them to a very specific point, or else the heist is like someone will see you, and the heist is ruined. Huh. Yeah. Huh. So I, I mean, I had no interest in getting payday, but I, I honestly cannot remember the game that was coming out later. I keep wanting to say Bloodborne, but that's not it. Bloodborne is PS4 exclusive. <laughs> It'll come to me. <laughs> uh, Red Dead. Red Dead. Red Dead. So. Yeah, I'm excited for Red oh. Dead 2. I hope it comes for Switch. I doubt it, mm -hmm. but I hope it comes for Switch. It, or it'll be one of those things where it goes out for the other consoles, and then it goes for Switch a uh, year or, or so Or six later. years later, like or, Skyrim. Yeah, like Skyrim. And still be... Uh, oh, a lot of people are saying that this direct's going to be about Nintendo Labo. What? That Have you seen the trailer for Labo? Nope. It's the whole... What the you, heck is that? So it's... I'm not going to make you watch the trailer, Please. but Nintendo Labo basically is... Looks like you a... get cardboard okay and it's like folded certain ways to where you fold it to make like a piano or a robot or something and you put your switch console in there and you put your joy cons on the side and you play piano or like you can control a robot you can make a robot and control the robot and i think it's gonna be like 79.99 i have no idea for some cardboard specific cardboard straight from nintendo but i'm not getting it okay because it, it's very it looks like it's very kid oriented. Right. Which is fine. It's just you know, I'm a twenty one year old child, so I don't know. Me. I, I have no interest in Labo. Yeah. It I'm scared that they're doing what they did with the Wii. Mm-hmm. Because the Wii focused so much on motion control mm -hmm. and interacting, like being part of the game. And I'm like, the switch is fine, you can do that with the Joy Cons, but don't don't create this console around it because that's where the we went bad. Right. We fit. We fit. Talking to you. I don't know. But yeah, the, the Wii's... Or the, the Wii. Darn it. The Switch is fine. I love the Switch. It's pro I'm trying to make it become my primary console. But it's so hard to stream on Switch if you wanted to. You have to buy a uh, console... No. Hold on. Capture card. And they're 100 bucks just to stream it. If you want to stream a Switch, nah, I have to buy a capture card for a hundred bucks. So nice I'm background, at, by the way. I'm not about that. Oh, what is it? Goomba. This is the Goomba. I'll praise the Goombas. You threw a Goomba at me at my. Uh, I love Mario Goomba, review. dude. I love Goombas. So he's talking about his Mario uh, Stardust. Stardust review. Stardust, check it out. You know Stardust isn't a website because I was gonna put a link to it in our There's the last no video. It's just an app. There's no website. Oh. Not one that I could find. So. I just put your account name. So I don't know if there's a link or not. I'll try to find one next time. But, okay, that's all I got with Nintendo. Nintendo Walking Direct roll. is today. Switch is now a year old. So happy birthday. Buy a Switch if you don't have one now, Joe. Uh, Jessica Jones. Jessica Jones. This is March 8th, meaning that Jessica Jones came out on the Netflix today. Happy Women's Day. Happy Women's Day. Also marks a year, one year. away from Captain Marvel. Uh, Happy Women's Day next year because uh, you get Captain Marvel. I've been building up Captain Marvel for years uh, for my wife. I I don't think it would be bad. I, I like, I like bad. Brie Larson. Brie Larson's a good actress. and uh, You always got to ask what if, though. 
Yeah, that's all I say that about just about anything. I thought, I thought, uh, what if uh, Rogue One is bad? And what, I love Rogue One. What if Solo is bad? Hopefully, it won't be. Mm. Uh, but yeah, Jessica Jones. I have I seen it yet. You you're usually on it like at midnight, but I guess yeah. you had work I, the next day. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I have not seen it yet. However, as soon as I get home, I am binging at least half the season. How long is it? Uh, 13 episodes. Who's the main bad? Don't know yet. Oh yeah. oh, yeah, I guess. Don't know yet. Haven't watched it yet. Yeah, haven't watched it yet. But, uh, <laughs> main, main bad. No, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Jessica main... Jones. Come now, I, I can't wait to see it. I, I liked the trailers, and some of the reactions I've seen are like, oh, it's really, really good on character building just really slow. That seems to be the general consensus with a lot of these Netflix shows, because even Punisher, which I th- I've i only watched... Oh, I'm good. I've only watched Daredevil and Punisher, mm-hmm. and they both get to a point. The first two episodes of both those shows are always great, and then the middle, you are just dreading it. Mm-hmm. You're not dreading watching an episode. You're just like, oh, man, maybe something will happen in this episode. Nothing does, and you're like... Next one, something will happen. Mm-hmm. And then you find yourself, the show's ending, and the last two episodes are great. So, but I mean, that being said, the content in the middle is fine. Right. It's all good. It's just slow. So, I don't know. And these are just, I think the reviews are just like the first five or six episodes. Yeah. But they all say the same thing where they want to see more. So that's good. Yeah. See, with Iron Fist, at this point, everyone was like, yeah, this show sucks. Yeah, I, I only watched two episodes of Iron Fist. Yeah, I didn't. I don't think I hated it as much as everyone else did. I It definitely was not that good, though, for sure. I, I tried, man. I just don't think he's a good actor. I didn't, I didn't stop watching it. But you it do cause... know he is the immortal Iron Fist, right? Oh he did God. tell you that. <laughs> he did tell you that, right? I didn't stop watching it because I hated it. I just stopped watching it, I think. I had like a day off of work, and so I watched two episodes and started playing video games, and then I just never picked it back up. So, me is me. I guess that says something about the show. Yeah. But you were telling me something earlier off camera, which we're not on camera, about Defenders may or may not be coming back. Oh yeah! Apparently, Christian Ritter, Jessica Jones herself, said that the possibility of there being a season two for Defenders is highly unlikely. Is it bad? Defenders? <laughs> Not good. I mean, is it a lot of build up for Okay, this is this is this is what I got out of it. They pretty much built up the whole oh the hand is this big, terrible, awful organization and they're gonna destroy all of us. They built that up for like five seasons yeah. of different shows. Really just three. But uh yeah. the Daredevils but, like, really out of the Daredevils and the Iron it's Fist? It's only the last episode of, or the last season of Daredevil, isn't it? Is it season two? Yeah. They're barely in season yeah. one, if uh, at all. The part of it, part of them in season one, you don't really know it's the hand until later, though. Yeah. Season two, uh, they're, they're, like, the main bad guy when Punisher's not around. And then um, yeah. Iron Fist, they're the bad guy through and through. So you get, like, this idea, okay, maybe the hands, he's like, oh, they're, like, really, really bad. Nah. Nah. <laughs> No, nah. they are like they are. their their motivation was kind of dumb. Like I was like, why don't like what what's so bad about them wanting to get that thing? I, I don't want to spoil anything. Yeah, can I spoil it? I haven't seen it, so I'm gonna put a spoiler warning right now. So spoilers, I, right now. Uh, so the whole from I what don't I care remember, that. they they the idea was that Sigourney Weaver, <gasps> Ripley. Yeah, Ripley. And the other members of the hand, you know, they're like super ancient, right? Xenomorphs. Yeah. They're like super ancient, right? They've been around for a long time because they have this thing that they bathe in or this material. Something that has to do with the dragon. Face huggers. And it keeps them alive, right? Well, they yeah. want to get more of that stuff, the running out of that stuff that keeps them alive. It's the stuff that brought Electra back to life. Because, you know, she died at the end of uh, Daredevil Season 2. So they want more of that stuff, Newt. right? Yeah. You got the idea. Aliens. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, um... Don't touch her, you. <laughs> they take... The idea is they're trying to get that stuff, right? The face huggers? No, yeah. They're trying to get the material that makes them immortal. Uh, 
Xenomorph's are immortal. Yeah, but you got the idea. So, um, <laughs> they're trying to get this stuff, and the idea is... Like, my thing is just like, okay, what, what do they do that makes them so bad? Like, why do we have to kill them? Well, because the androids like, started to malfunction, and they started to I take think over. me and you are thinking of two different things. Defenders, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yes, yeah. I see. Here, I'm talking about Alien. What are you talking about? Yeah, you're right. So, um... <laughs> well, how'd that sound? Big so, enough sip for you? Yeah. So, um... No, it was just dumb. I was just like, why is them getting this stuff so bad? Because they haven't shown me any reason why they are this terrible, awful organization. Well, have you seen the second one? Shut up about Aliens. <laughs> because she wakes up and it, her daughter's dead. God Dang it. Um, <laughs> you're so stupid. But, uh, no, it was just dumb. The motivation was dumb. And the whole, like, oh, we got to stop. Like, I just didn't feel like they were a threat. Like, they've been built up to be. Yeah. You know? I'm like, okay. Okay. How, hmm, hmm. How big of a threat were they? Like, if one of the Avengers went in, they wouldn't be a threat. Like, if Iron Man just saw them be like, oh, okay, and they just started shooting them up, they wouldn't be a threat? I mean, sure. Because that's, yeah. that's where my threat level lies. Like, could the Avengers have taken oh, them yeah, out? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if you, you got in one of the Avengers, even, like, uh, the, the... Yeah, if you got, like, Hawkeye in there, yeah, they're, they're be done in, yeah. yeah, they'd be done in no time. Uh, not, not to denounce those characters or anything. Oh, and Iron Fist is an idiot. Sorry, I just didn't wanted he, to add that. Didn't he spoiler, like, fake kill Daredevil? By fake kill, I mean, like, didn't he, like, destroy the building while Daredevil was inside? Or they all I, did, yeah. Well, I know yeah. Daredevil's inside of the building when it collapses, but yes. I don't know who did it. This is the Defenders. It was their idea. Oh, they okay. were going to collapse the whole building onto the hands yeah. little operation. On the pit. Yep. The Lazarus pit. Yep. No. <laughs> but the idea is the same, though, because they're trying to keep themselves alive. Damien Ancient Wayne. Organi- oh, my gosh. It is the same exact thing. Oh, yeah. my goodness. It is the exact same thing. Stick is Ra's al Ghul. Yeah, Stick dies. Spoiler. Oh, dude, we <laughs> Electra. Electra got annoying. Electra was annoying in Daredevil season two. Yeah, she got real annoying in Defenders. She'd show up and she's all stoic. She wasn't even wisecracking. And she's just killing people. And she's, she's all not... like staring like. Ugh. It's like she was like brought back from the dead or something. Yeah, except it was like, I've seen it happen like, you know, way better. Yeah. And other things like, you know, Alien. I'm glad you brought that up. <laughs> A lot of what you were saying sounds a lot like the hit movie by Ridley Scott, Alien. I think I just said, uh, I think I just said Sigourney Weaver, and you, all you could think of was that Xenomorph in Xenomorphs. Uh, Alien Isolation. I'm speaking of, go watch that. Uh, oh yeah, I have a lot of streams of Alien Isolation. It, they are not G rated, by the way. No, they're not. They're very R. They're. V- I'm sorry. We try to keep this channel very clean, but God, if you watch me play that game, you'll see how frustrating <laughs> it is. <laughs> I scream in the mic, too, so it's not fun. It's not fun for anyone. It's not fun for me. It's probably fun for the viewers. Maybe. I don't know. But, all right, uh, back to, well, the whole origi- or- original. The region. Uh, the Aloha region. Jessica Jones season two. Came out? I think, because you, oh, and uh, Luke Cage trailer came out yesterday. Oh, did it come out? Yeah, oh. teaser. It's like a little teaser. Him, him talking smack. Uh, it was really cool. Who are you like, talking to? You, he's talking to you. If you watch the trailer, he looks like he's talking to you. He's like, you can't burn me. You can't blow me up. You can't take me out to dinner. You can't if he's talking, shove ramen in my ear. Like, it's weird. It got it got really weird really quick. If he's talking to me, I'm a... Yeah, I he, was, like, he was talking smack about some weird shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put a timestamp there. But if we can't bleep it out, we can't bleep it out. <laughs> Ain't nothing to it. Hey, remember that G-rated? Hey, I'm not upset. But I am upset. I ain't upset. You can say that word on TV, so I feel like you can. No, you can't. Hey, you can you? I don't know. I think let they me, bleep that out. Let me look it up. You still talk about Luke Cage. But the Luke Cage five trailer times. was really, really cool. Um, I mean, like, it was really short. It was just him talking smack and him looking around, being all like, yeah, I'm a bad A. Uh, and then this guy in a car goes, get paid, black man, get paid. And then it's like, hey, it comes out in June or July or something like that. Uh, really excited. Uh, I think it's going to be good. But uh, I, that might be the last Netflix show we get from the from the Marvel 
name. Oh, 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 because they're doing the... Uh... Yep, next year. I don't like that. Disney's doing their own streaming service? Make it an app. Is it going to be an app? No, it's going to be like Netflix. <sighs> Netflix is an app. Or you can make Netflix an app. Netflix is a phenomenon. You shut your mouth. I'm saying <laughs> that... Oh, okay. No, it's not. Oh, it's not. So we could say it? No, no. It's one of the seven dirty words that you can't say. Oh, crap. I feel like one of those... They're all... <laughs> the last one's hilarious. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> we can't read it to you. Yeah, we can't. Uh... <laughs> the second one, I feel like I've heard people say that on... Oh, no, I haven't. That's such a weird... List. They used to be longer. The seven dirty words. They used to be longer. I'm gonna put the link below in the description as well, <laughs> just so people can get a laugh. Why the heck not? Because I don't want to exclude the people from a laugh. Right. Uh. So. Uh. Well, be... sorry. What, so yeah, that that uh next year I don't think they're gonna have those shows on Netflix. I think it'll end up being on the Marvel streaming service. That's okay with me. Or not Marvel. What did I Disney. say? Disney. Disney. Disney streaming service. I... As well as John Favreau's Star Wars show. Mm. Okay. Go okay. for it. I was about to burp. Oh my god. Don't do that in mic. It's gonna be gross and icky. Ugh. Ugh. I didn't do it. I love John Favreau. I love his hit movie Chef. Mm -hmm. I've bought four copies of that movie total. Really? Like five. Just four? Yeah. Um, I'm embarrassed. I like his Iron Man 1. Iron Man 2 was bad. But it wasn't bad. It just wasn't uh, good. It, it was bad. Um, <laughs> he also directed and wrote Elf. He did a movie called Swingers that I love. I am going to say it. You're going to make me say it. I don't care. I don't that care you, that you broke your elbow. I don't want them. You make as many Marvel TV shows as you want. Mm -hmm. Marvel's in my heart. Star Wars is Movies. Star Wars, to me, you can kill pretty easily. Uh, oh, oh. The TV show. Oh, like, right. if you just, like, if you had a Star Wars show that's like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., mm -hmm. ain't nothing to it, but yet they just keep investing in it. Mm -hmm. I don't know anyone that watches Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I so, knew some people that watched it religiously. Uh, not anymore, though. No. I don't know. I mean, like, I'm all for it. I'll go in with a positive attitude. I gotta see what it's about, but I mean, most likely, it's gonna be... Every Star Wars thing that comes out now is in between two eras. Mm -hmm. If it's not a movie, it's in between six and seven or three and four. Right. I hope that, in, you know, because you know they had the video games that were Knights of the Old Republic. I hope it's that. I would love that. Are you kidding me? Darth Nihilus. Like, do your own, instead of having the, like, the three Skywalker mm -hmm. legacy was, whatevers, um, those are those three main episode trilogies, whatever. You either do one... In the future, like after all that stuff, mm -hmm. or because I want to see the use on phone, um, <laughs> or you do it in the past. Yeah, you do it in the past. Uh, the beginning of the Jedi would be. Or you could the, do it. The beginning of the Jedi and the Sith would be. Amazing. Yeah, because when they first started, it was like they were like equal in numbers. Like if there was like a thousand Jedi, there was a thousand Sith. Get a freaking oh my gosh! Get and a freaking I, war. Dude, uh, and with Disney's budget, uh, Disney's budget, I'm almost guaranteed to be more than Netflix's budget. Netflix yeah. already has a huge budget. Mm -hmm. Netflix and Hulu. I'm sure Disney with their mountains, with their mountains of gold, like, like Scrooge Haley McDuck. By Fox. Hold on, I'm gonna pull up a picture of Scrooge McDuck sitting in his bathtub of gold. That's what Disney is. It's not a liquid. It's a whole bunch of. Pieces of solid matter that make a hard surface. This is Disney. This is Disney. They're just skiing and, Scrooge and money. Scrooge McDuck and his vault of liquid money. Yes. He literally. I like that he wears a bathing suit into it's, his money pile. It's Scrooge McDuck. I'm very obsessed with Scrooge McDuck and who we do with Louie. But yeah, that's, I've noticed. I love them. Um. I'm fine. I mean, I'm fine with Disney doing their own streaming network. It makes sense. Mm -hmm. Um, you could do a lot more with that. You can make probably a lot more kids shows. Right. Um, a lot more, like Pixar sequels or like straight to DVD releases. You can just do straight to Disney. What's it called? Disney Direct. 
I I don't know if they've even announced it. I keep I just D twenty three. I this year I guarantee you you're gonna get something. I just put Nintendo Direct and changed. I was the gonna say Nintendo. I was like wait a second. I'm pretty sure Direct was something. I said it confidently though. Yeah yeah. yeah I, I have no it's idea. Disney Direct. I'm pretty sure it's Disney Direct. I have no idea. Like yeah yeah yeah. It sounds right. So is it gonna be like if a Mar- Marvel movie releases on DVD, it's gonna be on there immediately? I doubt that. However, I do guarantee you you're you're probably gonna get all the Star Wars stuff. Mm-hmm. Like so that's like Rebels. Clone Wars. Clone Wars, the uh, movies, all the Marvel movies, all the Marvel TV shows, yeah. animated and live action on that site. And then if they do anything moving forward, it's going to be on that site, which I'm cool with. I'm fine with that. I'm cool with that because Netflix is still going to be doing their things. They got that Witcher series. I am like stupid excited for You got to, and I don't think Disney will make it too much, but you got to make it affordable for me to go on there. Mm-hmm. Like most I'll pay is like 10 bucks. Probably do that. I'll bucks. pay fifteen bucks max. Fifteen bucks a month. That's Dude, a I do money. that with Audible. You pay Audible? Heck yeah. Didn't know that. I, I, I like to work out my brain. <laughs> Why don't you just read the book? Oh, no man. <laughs> no, I actually have picked up. Uh, I I started reading the uh, Dark Disciple. Star Wars Dark Disciple. I am two chapters in. There you go. Yeah. We're one day closer to Thrawn. Book. Oh, alliances. Thrawn re-release. You can talk about that. Can we talk about rebels? Yeah. Well, you can. I don't know a darn thing about okay. what happened, but I'm very excited to hear about what happened. Okay. So, for those who do not know, we lost a dear friend. With spoilers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is definite, huge, major spoilers for rebels. And uh, so I've I've actually been watching rebels. I I just I am late to this bandwagon. I'm only about. Uh, I'm like close to the end of season two, right? I haven't even gotten to Thrawn yet. There's the whole reason I started Rebels in the first place, right? So, my wife has no idea that I went and spoiled it to myself, but she doesn't listen to this, so she's going to have no idea. Uh, so, <laughs> she, uh, we, uh, I YouTubed what happened to Thrawn because I just wanted him to live, right? Yes, sir. I'm so sorry to interrupt you. I'm reading it, and they say something about the Death Star blowing up. Does this take place? No, no, no. Okay, let me... I'll explain. Okay, yeah, you just... So, um, what ends up happening is uh, Thrawn's fleet comes in. It's the Battle of Lothal, right, where Ezra's from. So, they're fighting Ezra's... Uh, Ezra's fleet. Uh, Thrawn comes in. Ezra sacrifices himself, like, gives himself up and uh, surrenders to Thrawn. Who you know gives him to the emperor, and the emperor he's trying to change him or whatever, uh, blah blah blah, all that. Don't don't care. So the part that we're that I'm wa- wanting to get to is when they're on the bridge of the Chimera, Thrawn's uh, flagship, and these whales with tentacles. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, this is where things get weird. If you watched, uh, it was like one of the I think it was season two. They had these whales that fly in space and they uh, can go into hyperspace and stuff like that. It's weird. So, yeah, that's it. Space whales. Oh, my God. Yeah, not kidding. So, those things right there. Oh, my God. Yeah, the Pergil. That looks stupid. Pergil. So, Pergil, whole fleet of them. Ezra calls in them because he befriended them in the episode, the one episode they were in. Uh, he calls them in and the Pergil... Pretty much destroy Thrawn's fleet and bust their tentacles through the ship and like grab Thrawn. And, uh, you know, Ezra's all like controlling him and all that and he's doing force stuff. And then the Pergil go into hyperspace with Thrawn and Ezra. And that's the last you see of him. And then it goes to like in the future. And Sabine is talking about how, you know, where all the characters leave off. And then she's like, I'm going to find Ezra. And uh, you see Ashoka with... The Gandalf look? Yeah, the I Gandalf saw that picture. Look. Yeah. Wearing the white robes and yeah, the white... straight up all Gandalf and stuff. So, uh, next series, it looks like we're going to be getting some kind of something. Oh, and all that the uh, Sabine thing takes place after Return of the Jedi. So, the Rebels have won... The war's over, and she's going to go find Ezra, it looks like. 
So that's cool. Yeah, but that also. Oh, and then Dave Fioni, the guy who pretty much runs the whole uh, writing and department or whatever of uh, the Star Wars animated stuff. He's the guy that's like in charge of well, the Star Wars animated stuff. Clone Wars, Rebels, you know it. So he said, he th- oh, yeah, I think that Thrawn and Ezra are alive. Uh, yeah, I hope. Yeah, if he said, I don't want Thrawn to die like a whale. Like no, a whale. I don't. Like, if, if they were like, oh, yeah, he died because of a whale, I'd have been, like, really upset. Who's the but cameo? The th- Sorry. There's a cameo? Oh, I guess it's, yeah, it's this cameo. Oh, I didn't. See, I never watched this. I just wanted to know what happened to Thrawn. I didn't actually, like, watch the episode yet. Ending cameo. Oh. Oh, oh. Chopper was voiced by Dave Fioni. Ew. I guess. I don't. I guess that's the cameo. Uh, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. That's the guy you just said that runs Marvel. Uh, Pooh, Star, Star Wars. Wars. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Although it kind of makes me, kind of makes me think, cause like, you know, they're all like, oh, Luke's the last Jedi, you know. Mm-hmm. But if Ezra's still alive, Ezra's still kicking. I guess well, maybe that, somewhere. That, but hold up, I don't know if I told you this. Apparently, Ezra had uh, found a way to reach through space and time. <gasps> Did I tell you that? Space Jim. Yeah. So, um, they found a temple, and he's able to go through this temple, and there's all these, like, areas that he can literally, like, reach his hands through space and time and save people. That's apparently how he saved Ashoka, because Ashoka was going to die. Oh, well, when, he, when she fought when Darth she Vader? When she fought Darth Vader, apparently after that, yeah. the thing, he, like, slices her in half or whatever. Oh, that's dark. Apparently, that's what happened. But he, Ezra was able to grab her out of this space-time fortress thing and pull her away from that so she's still kicking because of him and um I'm i don't gonna... know if he's stuck there if that's the case does that mean thrawn's stuck there so thrawn's a thrawn is a uh, thrawn is with him somewhere maybe i don't stinking no i have no idea no one does but apparently they're alive somewhere they better be because i swear if that's the way that thrawn goes out i'll be very very upset i need thrawn to be in a movie i don't like him being animated I need or to see books. him on the silver screen and on a book. See, I like I like him in those because he, you know, pretty much owns it in all of those. Yeah. I am glad that, because, like, you had to defeat him eventually, I guess. I am glad that how they defeated him wasn't, oh, we outsmarted Thrawn. Because I don't just, think you can physically We just outgunned him. Kinda. Nope. It's the Force. Because oh, he, oh. I don't think he, the Force is so unpredictable oh. that he, well, he's unable to predict, predict it. Lo and behold. Weird how that happens, right? Uh, So, that's what I think ends up happening in regards to Rebels. Okay. Uh, I am... I'm sad that the show's over, because I'm getting really, really into it. Of course, I'm only on season two. Uh, I can't wait for season three. Starting season three. I'm gonna go buy it. I don't... Oh, that's what I'm throwing on the cover. Yeah. Does, uh... Do you think Ashoka needs to... uh... Maybe not die, but just they kind of start writing her off. Like they did with Darth Maul. Like they're just killing the character at this point. Like, because to me, Darth Maul, they just kept beating over the bush. See, just she's beating. really cool in season two. I haven't... I liked her in Clone Wars. Yeah, I loved her in Clone Wars. I think she that, that was her in her prime, because, you know, her and... She's a lot... You know, she's so old and she's mature. Yeah. She's been through war and stuff like that in season two. So she's... I don't enjoy her as much in season two as I did in season... Uh, in uh, Clone Wars. You know, Clone Wars, she's wisecracking. Yeah. She's... Well, her bad A. Because her master is Darth Vader now. I don't... She doesn't know that in Rebels, does she? She finds out. She connected with him. He knew it was her. I don't... I don't... I... I... I think you kind of figure out, and this is like year old news. He finds out in the, when they're fighting each other, right? I he watched that fight out, scene. No, he knows before that because... But she he, found out then. Yeah, they, they connect in the force. Yeah. Because he's flying his tie and he's blowing up all these rebel ships. And she's like, who is this guy? And so she connects to him and she's like, ah, and then passes out. <laughs> uh, and he's like, oh, I know who that is. And yeah. It was the worst Darth Vader impression. Hey, man, I am I'm not a voice actor. I have oh said that God. before on this show. Um, uh, just two seconds ago. So, uh, I I am kind of upset that Rebels is over. However, apparently they trademarked the term Star Wars Resistance. That's cool. Yeah, so it looks like the next show, whatever it's going to be, is going to be in oh, the... Uh, episode 7. Yeah. Ah. 
So you were like, oh, that's cool. I forgot. Resistance is just a cool word. Yeah, and it resistance got me is off a cool word. Base, but then I forgot it's the new trilogy. Yeah. So it's probably going to be the First Order. Although, here's my thing. Who cares? Is it's a kid's show through and through, right? And they make, like, the Imperials who are supposed to be, like, this, you know, stoic. Nah, 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 nah. Like, a lot of them are just really silly. Mm-hmm. And, like, the Stormtroopers especially, you know, that they're, like, really kind of like punchlines. And some of the officers in season one especially. But then they got their heads cut off. Uh, like, literally. It was awesome. But... I'm hoping they don't do that. First Order seems a lot more, like, hardcore than the Imperials were. Like, they steal children. They indoctrinate children. They li- they're like a cult. And I'm like, how do you make that into a kid's show? Um, episode 8. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't care. I don't, yeah, now I don't care. Now Star Wars is losing me. Mm-hmm. New trilogy blows. They're not losing you. Rogue One was good. Rogue One's fine. Wait, I don't wait. like new. I don't like the trilogy. I guess I don't like episode seven and eight. I right. don't hate seven. Right. Seven's fine. Seven's like New Hope to me. New Hope is just always kind of a little bit above average to me. Nothing against it. Right. I, it's it's a fine movie introduction to the saga, but like compared to five and six, it can be a little boring and a little slow. Mm-hmm. Um. So it, wherever I put four on my list, just put seven right next to it. So, but eight. I don't like eight. I don't like There's eight. a couple of people that didn't. There's a couple. There's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, what's next on our... Thor? Thor, Thor came out. Thor Rock and Rock. Thor Rock and Rock. Dylan got the uh, Target, Target exclusive. exclusive. Episode sponsored by Target. Yeah. What, uh, what does the Target exclusive have? So it comes with a booklet. Um... <laughs> it's just kind of the booklet. It comes with a booklet. It does. The booklet has a uh, concept art of like what they like. They have Hello, the different costume designs they had for Hello, Hulk, the different armor designs. They have a lot of different ones for Hulk, uh, not Hulk, Thor, in the battle arena, and I liked a lot of them. Mm-hmm. However, a lot of them kind of look like Winter Soldier because one of them he literally had just a metal arm. Yeah. And I was like, Did okay. that have a little red star and everything. <laughs> no, but. No, it did, and you silly goose, yeah. but I sound like Francis. Yeah, I thought that was what you were going for. Francis here. I think you could sue us for that. But, uh, no, I mean, it comes with a concept art booklet, which is really cool, and, like, some notes from the director and Chris Hemsworth, and I think there might be Target exclusive footage. Right. Like, 30 minutes, usually, is what Target has, mm-hmm. so... I haven't cracked it open. I've, well, I mean, I've cracked it open. I just haven't watched any of it yet. Mm-hmm. But I cannot decide where that movie is in my top list. Yeah, we need to really think about our top list. Before Infinity War comes out, we really got to have an episode where we talk about yeah. the best things about... We have like an episode talking about the best things about Marvel and an episode talking about the worst things about the MCU Yeah, and humans. Um, I just forget that exists. Yeah, exactly. Good. I think Marvel wants you to. Does it still run? Is it still on? I don't know if it had a season finale or not. That's how much I care. Oh, my God. Um, but, yeah, Thor came out on DVD. We sold a lot. Normally, when these movies come out, we don't sell as much. Like, we sell a lot up front by the check lanes. But, you know, back in electronics where I work, we don't it's still usually pretty full. Um, we ran out before I left work today. Yeah, of, like, all the 4K and the Blu-ray. Mm-hmm. All we have is a couple of the DVD because what Neanderthals are still watching DVD? Get a Blu-ray player. But <laughs> I don't know. So that's pretty good. We had a shipper up front that we had the day it came out on Tuesday, and it was empty by mm-hmm. Tuesday night. Man. So, and that thing is full of movies. Jeez. So, I mean, I guess it sold pretty well. It's a great movie. Yeah. I don't know. So. I can't wait to get to it in my... Uh... Our, uh, Hannah, and I have, uh, Hannah and I have been doing the Road to Infinity War. Now you're weak. Your week is all <laughs> screwed up because... No, it's not. It's not. Because okay. um, the week... Because, you know, it went a week prior. Yeah. And it was like the week that you were supposed to watch Black Panther. Uh-huh. But, well, not only have we seen Black Panther twice, but I think by the time Infinity War actually either co- uh, it's about to come comes out. out, either Black Panther is going to be out of theaters... Or be in dollar theater. Or... No, I don't even think it'll be in dollar theater. I think it'll be like... 
close to the end of May before it oh, gets it'll still be like you, know, you guys can do so like I don't thing. think we'd be able to access watching Black Panther because I've been fig- I've been trying to figure that out for the past couple months like how are we going to watch Black Panther the week before just uh, illegally stream it um <clears throat> so yeah no I was just, I was just trying to figure out that and uh no it uh it actually helped so now it's like whenever we watch Thor uh-huh. like that next week is going to be Infinity War Thor Ragnarok's great, isn't it? Thor Ragnarok's great. I want to watch it's it so right good. now. I love Valkyrie. <gasps> Speaking of, we have uh, questions. We do have. We have two questions. Um, What's question one? Question Where one. Where they is, ask it at? Question one is from our Twitch account. Um, I was streaming games on there, and someone wanted a question to be asked. I don't remember their username, so I'm sorry. But if they're watching this, or will watch this because this isn't live, but mm-hmm. they asked us. Who our favorite Marvel, I guess, secondary side characters are. Mm-hmm. I say we do it in Ellis fashion and do top three list. Top. <laughs> That's the one favorite, and we yeah. just do a top. Well, three. I can't make one. I have to do, have multiple. To do multiple. All right. Do, so do you I'm, have yours in mind? I have I some have in mind. One. My number. I have my number one, and I'm guessing the the criteria that I'm getting is can't have their own movie, mm-hmm. and then can't be like stealing the show like Loki right or the loophole of Hulk and Thor Ragnarok so so I don't know right I got you but like Loki I don't think counts Winter Soldier may not count mm-hmm. so I mean it's our question so I guess the, as long as they don't have a movie about them I think they yeah can I think we're fine count so, yeah who's your number one Number one, starting at the top. Well, you want to start at the top or start at number three? Usually, these top tens go down from. You well, know, we're not doing top ten. ten. Oh, right. I don't have ten favorite side characters. Uh, three, top three. Okay. This one's. Well, we can do. <laughs> I don't have ten favorite. I don't have ten. I have three. Uh, so, um, I'm just gonna name off three. Okay. Uh, one of them is Luis from Ant Man. <laughs> Ant-Man. Oh, hilarious. Hilarious. He's just, he's freaking great. He's, yeah. he's just, his persona, hilarious. And I think he's one punch man. What do you mean? As a, <laughs> he talks about, he's the only guy that's ever been able to knock out that dude in the jail. And on top of that, every time he hits somebody in that movie, they oh, get knocked yeah. out. So yeah. he's, he is one punch man. Yeah. Okay. One punch man. Uh, another character, and this is probably honestly my favorite, because when you said favorite side characters, uh, very new character, and that's uh, Okoye. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She's freaking awesome, her. man. Yeah. She's freaking She's cool. great. She is cool. I freaking love her. I know you do. I love her. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, she's great. Um, And then this third one, I'm really going to have to think about this one. It's up there with Peggy Carter from... Whatever happened to her TV show? I think it went two seasons. Mm. Wait, hold on. Does that count if she got her own TV show? No. no, uh, no, no wait, that, that doesn't count? No, no, I don't care. I'll say Peggy. Because it was only two seasons. I really liked Peggy. Okay. And the and, uh, uh, Jeff Goldblum. Oh, I forgot about him. Yeah. I mean, I didn't forget about him. I just... Didn't count him. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. Uh, okay, that's a solid list. I what can do you behind got? that. What you got? Okay, well, my number three is... Uh, the I don't remember his freaking name. Oh my god, Captain America's Falcon. No, 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 no. The guy who trains him in the Tommy Lee Jones. Oh, Tommy Lee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't remember his name either. But oh my gosh, oh he's so funny. I I loved him in Captain he America: so First funny. Avenger. Um, he's still skinny. He's still yeah. Just walks in the room. Yeah. He's still skinny. He's still skinny. Walked away. Hilarious. I'm not gonna kiss you. Yeah. There's just nothing but one liners the entire time. Now, I do have a loophole here, and I don't know if this is going to count or not, because he doesn't have his own movie. Right. He's in a movie, but he's not really the main character of said movie. Hawkeye. Should Hawkeye count? Uh, I mean, technically, he doesn't have his own movie. If Hawkeye doesn't count, then I'm in. Oh, well, shoot. I was going to, I want to put him on my list now. I love, I mean, I love Hawkeye's character. Okay, I won't put Hawkeye in. Okay. I mean, I feel like that's cheating, Avengers. I'll put Shuri. Sure, yeah, now sure, I can give. I didn't one. like Black Panther, but I liked her in Black Panther. Yeah, sure, so, fantastic. My number one is uh, sitting on the desk with me though, Valkyrie. Valkyrie, I from love Thor her. Three. 
I love Valkyrie. Yeah, I really she like was her too. she just did not care. Nah. Well, and I like the twist that they did on the Valkyrie characters because in the like the old Defender comics of Valkyrie that I read, mm-hmm. I think she was in the Defenders. She is just. I'll say it. She's sexual. In the Ultimates? Yeah. Yeah, in the Ultimates, she's not actually, like, she just calls herself Valkyrie. She's not actually a Valkyrie? No, she's not actually a Valkyrie. She's just some blonde college student who calls herself Valkyrie and wears this, like, skimpy outfit. So I like the uh, the twist that Tessa Thompson did on her. I like the whole, like, the Valkyrie are dead because of Hella. Right. Spoiler. The movie's on DVD. Now, in the actual 616 comics, they are a group of elite warriors. Oh no, I like that. They, yeah, I mean, yeah. they were. She was an elite warrior. Yeah, but the twist of how the Valkyrie are gone—they're yeah, they're gone at this point. Yeah, and uh, how she's. I like that. Yeah, I like she's, that too. She has a story behind her, mm-hmm. so I really like that. Because um, normally with these side characters that you see, female or male, they're all just kind of like perfect. It's mm-hmm. the main character, or they're they're not. They're very static. Mm-hmm. They're not as dynamic as she is. You know, you see her go through just as much character change as Thor does in that movie. So, I really like her in that movie, and I hope she doesn't die in Infinity War. God, I hope not either. God, they, I hope not either. Because that whole ship does, I just, it just does not bode well. I'm going to be the, honest. That's ship, man. I'm not going to walk out of the movie if... Uh, she dies? If she dies or if Asgard dies, I will be very upset, though. I'll be like, okay, so... I feel like Thor 3... Kinda... Thor 3 just... Did nothing then. But then you know that yeah, the you... Infinity War or in Infinity Gauntlet story, like literally everything that happened, every bad thing that happened in that book, they redid once they got the Infinity Gauntlet. That's true, but so you know that all the bad, bad things that you're like, oh my god, how are they gonna do it for yeah, I mean, you could, Yeah, you can like always... you know the fourth movie. And I feel bad, like because I guess a lot of people don't, a lot of people who just go into the movies mm-hmm. and don't read the books don't know a lot about the Infinity Gauntlet. But like you and me going into this movie, like even if we see everyone die, we'll just be like. Okay, they're going to come back. Yeah, there's yeah. two parts. Yeah. And if at the end of part two, if they don't come back, I'll mm-hmm. be pissed. Like, if they kill Spider-Man, I'm like, guys, you don't know, like, Spider-Man's the movie after Avengers 4. Right? And, like, Black stupid. Panther dies. Yeah. Like, or guys, come Winter on. Soldier it dies. Yeah. I'll just be like, he's got, like, six more film contracts. Yeah, it's like, guys, guys, come on. He's contracted for more mills. Quit being stupid. Yeah, you guys need to read up on your contracts, all right? I need you guys to be as knowledgeable as we are. I know. I kind of <laughs> wish... I kind of wish I would... Like, my mother-in-law has no idea about any of this stuff, right? Yeah. And even people in the theater... The second time I watched Black Panther, there was people that were like... Like, because you think that Black Panther's dead. And they're like, how are you going to kill him in the... How are you going to kill him in the first movie? You know? Did the, it's like, did you not watch the Infinity War I was War like, trailer? have you not seen the Infinity War trailer? Did the Infinity War trailer show for your second time? Nah. It was Ant-Man and the Wasp. Same here. It didn't show for my second time either. Yeah, but uh, that kind of sucks. Yeah, but at the same time, I, it, it I, is like a giant spoiler. I get it. Show it after then. Yeah, it's like, hey, Umbaku lives, <laughs> Black Panther lives, and Okoye lives. You know that much going in. Yeah. Uh, no, it was is. God, I can't wait for that movie. I can't either. Well, um, all of our conversations tend to go back to Infinity War. I mean, you notice that? It, we have. I was about to say the conversations will end whenever Infinity War comes out, but, but we have yeah, part two. Yeah, we got part two, so, whatever they name it. We, I think they'll just name it Infinity Gauntlet. What's the second question? Oh, my God. Oh, this question. I love this question. So the second question is from our YouTube channel mm-hmm. on our latest podcast, Smashmallow. Where the heck is it? We call it Smashmallow? Nah, yeah. Okay, so it it's from user I hate Steven Universe 27 <laughs> What? Hilarious. And the question is, who do you think, who do you guys think would win? The Marvel Universe heroes versus Steven Universe gems? Wait, what? That's fantastic. That is hilarious. Like, why is it? That's flat His, his whole name is the, the, I hate Steven Universe. So I feel like we should give him the answer he wants. I think Marvel would win. I don't know what I, you think about yeah, Steven I, Universe. I have, uh, the only thing I know about Steven Universe is that some people that go to Second and Charles are very, very passionate. I'm looking at the characters. I don't see any. <laughs> What's up with him? I guess that's Steven Universe, the guy with the star on his chest. Yeah. Apparently when he, like, his, his belly button is a little gem. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Dude, the show, it just looks weird. It does look weird. It, oh, my God. Apparently. Is this the spinoff of uh, Rick and Morty? Or is that 
Yes, Gravity Falls. That's Gravity Falls. Or yeah. Gravity something. Or Gravity Falls is good. I I mean, okay, I've heard good things about them. I've heard that they got good powers. Steven Universe. Yeah. We sell their toys at Target. So. Yeah, but like people, like I used to work at Second and Charles, and people loved that stuff. And there was somebody that worked there that like loved that stuff and just talked about it all the time. And I she told done. me that if you watch that show and you don't cry, like you don't feel. <laughs> I have I no idea like, what it is. Okay, listen, if that's if that's one of those things, because I'm looking at these characters, I'm not. I, I don't see how they can be emotional. I have, I honestly have no idea anything about Steven Universe. It's hilarious to me that I hate Steven Universe 27. It hates it so much that he would he comment on our random podcast. Most likely just to hear us say. Just to say that Marvel, Marvel, Marvel would, would win. Probably wipe the floor with these chumps. Yeah, absolutely. Marvel, definitely, yeah. I see <laughs> I see Winter Soldier shoot them all in the head. Oh, my God. Now, for all I, all, all I know, for all I could, all I know about them, they could be bulletproof. But Winter Soldier will shoot them in the head. I mean, you have Hulk who can just smash them but I don't know if they're indestructible I don't know wipe that grin off that stupid kid's face right yeah there. I'm not a huge fan of that face of his what is how am I supposed to care about him when I don't like his face that is solid That's... logic right there <laughs> I mean I want to do more research about Steven Universe now I don't because I have no I have don't. absolutely no idea what they it's are it's got a freaking weird uh, intro I listened to the song 90% no, sorry 96% of Google users like it Ninety six. That's a lot of users. All right, go to go to Marvel characters and see how many of them. What the percentage of that is? You just type in Marvel. I guess. <laughs> Doesn't have anything. Oh. Because it's. I guess Steven Universe wins. Don't tell him that. I guess Steven Universe he hates loses. Steven Universe. Twenty seven. Enough to <laughs> name himself that. <laughs> That's a great name. That is, I think I think that's just the best. I'm gonna subscribe to him. Do it. I think he's earned it. I mean, I'm looking at these. Deadpool could probably. No, oh, Deadpool can kill. Every, he kills everything. Go all ape the time. with this. He literally kills the Marvel universe. Twice. There's two stories about it. Hilarious. From my understanding. Hilarious. Yeah. All right. So I guess we can wrap it up here, Joe. Got anything else to add? The not, new covers not... for the Marvel. Brand new came out. Yeah, I'm waiting. I'm waiting to see if they got any more before I talk about those. Okay. Uh, I am excited. I am gonna pick them up. I'll be honest. I'm All gonna right. pick them up. I'm a sucker. I'll pick up a couple of number ones, but if they're anything like the last number ones that we talked about in the last one, where it's just like you pick it up and it's just a continuation of the oh, last, last story. series, yeah, and you're like, not follow it. So I'll pick up a couple of number ones, but depending on how they are, mm -hmm. I probably won't pick up a couple of number twos. And then no one more, but just wait about seven more months, and, and they'll you, do another. They'll do another one, another hard just pick reboot. Up that one. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Marvel. <laughs> but yeah, so we hope you guys enjoyed this week. Uh, next week we'll have a soda that doesn't make us want to puke. Oh my god, I forgot about that. Crap. Yeah, did you know that was an hour ago? Mm -hmm. Yeah, felt like a lifetime. Yeah, that our brains have already taken that memory and thrown it away because it hated it so much. But, yeah. You guys, hope you have a fantastic week. Don't drink Big Red. Don't drink Big Red. And until the next time we talk, nerd, stay adventurous. <laughs> or stay adventurous, anonymous. Stay anonymous, adventurous. Stay adventurous. Like that? Let's do it one time. Until next time, you guys stay adventurous. Farewell. Bye.